if you were a teacher in school and a gunman was coming down your hall and your room was next, wouldn't you want to be armed? I would rather take my chances with, with my wits and what I have about me. So what would you say to the people, the millions of people out there who already own AR-15s? Would you say, hey, you got to turn your guns in basically? Yeah, I wouldn't have any problem saying that. Are you for gun control? Yeah. Who should control the guns? Who should control the guns? Probably the government. Do you trust the government? No. How would you guys define assault weapons? Because we've heard the term assault weapons a lot in the news. You know, like stuff that can, there's like, I read a definition for it, but I can't remember, I'm sorry. Um... Or do you guys feel safer not having guns in your home? Yes, yeah. definitely. You know, when you look around Washington, D.C. and you check out all the buildings and all the architecture, I mean, you can't deny that this place is absolutely magnificent. But then it reminds me of kind of like a Catholic church. You look around and you see all the gold and the tapestry and the stonework and you're like, where the heck did they get all the money to do that right there? And then you think, oh yeah, that's right. It's all the people they're plundering while they say that they're working for your freedom. Nice touch. If you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, give it a thumbs up, and share it with everybody you know. Mr. McCartney, hi there, we're with CNN. Can we just get a quick question for you? Uh, yeah. Just give us a sense of why it was important for you to come out here today. Uh, just to support the people. Yeah. What, do you hope can, what do you hope can be accomplished? Do you think that can happen at the legislative level? We've seen it happen at the state level in places like Florida and here in New York. You know, I'm like everyone, I don't know. But th this is what we can do. And, uh, so I'm here to do it. Um, one of my best friends was killed in gun violence right around here. So uh, it's important to me. Understood. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. If you were a teacher in school and a gunman was coming down your hall and your room was next, would you, wouldn't you want to be armed? I would make the first exit out of the building rather than engage that shooter head on head on because he's fully expecting to die. I want to get out of that situation. Well, what if you I'll couldn't? I'll throw a chair through a window. I'll smash my way out of there. I will get out of the building and not be corralled by that. Right, man. but what if you and the kids I think couldn't? That hardening the walls is a stupid solution. I think putting lines on the floor not from the from the perspective from the window and the door is a stupid solution. Well, the you point is to keep the guns away. Yeah, most Don't people put more in. Most people couldn't get out of the classroom fast enough, so would you rather be armed with a, a gun or a chair or a desk or what? You know what? I would rather take my chances with, with my wits and what I have about me than put more guns in the school. If you were going to craft a law, if you could snap your fingers and craft a law, what would it look like? What would it say? What would be banned? All that. Any type of repeating rifles or additions to guns to make them shoot more rapidly. Okay, so that, that would include uh, um, semi-automatics, high-capacity yeah, magazines? 15s and so forth. Okay, mm -hmm. so what would you say to the people, the millions of people out there who already own AR-15s? Would you say, hey, you got to turn your guns in, basically? Yeah, I wouldn't have any problem saying that. They're just not appropriate for a home environment or a and, community. And let's say their answer to you is, well, hey, look, I'm a peaceful person. I just want to be left alone. I've never hurt anybody with it. And I don't plan on hurting anybody. What would you say? I would say we could talk about maybe keeping those guns locked up at a shooting range and they could go to the shooting range, unlock it, use it, and lock it back up when they are ready to go. Do you, are you for gun control? Yeah. Who should control the guns? Who should control the guns? Probably the government. Do you trust the government? No. You don't trust the government, but you want them to control the guns? Other than banning guns, what, what else would you like to see changed? If you could snap your fingers, for, for example, and, and create a law, what would it look like? What would it say? Uh, well, I would create a law just, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That, that's a difficult question. Would you limit high-capacity magazines or, or get rid of them altogether? High-capacity magazines? Yeah. Oh, you mean for guns? Yeah. If we come together and vote for good politicians or politicians who care, then something will get done. Can you name one point in history where politicians have actually listened to the people? The one fact that you know is that when guns are there, people get killed by guns. When guns are not there, people don't get killed by guns. Do governments take us to wars? Do governments take us to wars? Yeah. Do they steal our money? Like taxes? Um, 
I guess, yeah. Do they waste our money? Mm, sometimes. How about all the time? We're $21 trillion in debt. We're in a situation of transgenerational debt slavery where four generations of people won't be able to pay off the debt. So we know they waste our money, we know they take us off to war, and we know they can't be trusted. So why would you want politicians, you know, honest question, fair question, why would you want politicians and government officials to control the guns? And what do you think criminals think about further gun regulations and restrictions? Um, I, well, if it's actual criminals, I think they will do their best to work their way around any law that we put in. Um, but I think that the harder we can make the accessibility, the more worth of it, you know, that's what we should be doing. You have all these rules and you think they'll save you. Are there any weapons in your house? No. Okay. Uh, do you guys have knives in your house? I mean, there are knives which are weapons, but we don't have any guns in our house. Okay. Um, are you guys for an assault weapons ban? Sorry? Are you for an assault weapons ban? Yes. Yes. You guys all are? Yeah. Now, what? how would you guys define assault weapons? Because we've heard the term assault weapons a lot in the news. How do you guys define that? I mean, anything that, I'd say military grade weapons. Yeah. You know, like stuff that can, there's like, I read a definition for it, but I can't remember. I'm sorry. Um, it's like, if it can fire a certain number of rounds within a minute. I can't remember what the number is. It's a, I know it's a pretty high number. Since 1950, virtually all mass shootings have taken place in gun-free zones. Do you think gun-free zones are part of the problem? Hell no. <laughs> Guys, if you enjoy this content, take a second and hit the subscribe and notification button for all my daily uploads. What if more people were killed with knives than there were with guns? Would you be for knife control? No. There's people, I've, like, I think that it's... a Obviously, it's a lot harder to do more damage with a knife. It's a lot easier for somebody to come in hands with an assault weapon and just do crazy amounts of damage in a school or public place. Okay, would you be for banning handguns? Um, I think not. It, no? I'd say not if people um, are educated on how to use them and how to safely store them. Behind it. Yeah. If they're educated, then we can stop this from happening, you know? But assault rifles... No. What if somebody was educated using an assault rifle? I don't think so. They're just dangerous. They're very dangerous. I don't think anyone should have an assault rifle. It's too easy rifle. to get out of hand. Yeah. Okay, let me give you a statistic, and I want to get your reaction. More than 80% of mass shootings are carried out with handguns. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see that. Yeah. But the thing is, I just feel like it's deadlier. Yeah. It's a, I feel like it's a lot deadlier with an assault. I, I feel like it's a lot deadlier with an assault rifle. Since 18 to 21 year old white males are predominantly the school shooters, how about we make a law that just incarcerates all 18 to 21 year olds? No. White male. No. Why not? Because not it's not every single person. There you, you go. Know. So so that was my point is on gun control. Why why try to control everybody's guns when? Most most people are law abider. Do you have guns in your home? No. Okay. Do you? No. No guns. No. Or do you guys feel safer not having guns in your home? Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Especially because I have a lot of little siblings, and I just feel like it's not safe. It's not. It's I not. don't think so. Okay. Let's say three thugs came into your house armed with guns. How would you guys? How would you defend yourselves? Go! All right. Um, we're trying to go somewhere, so yeah, if we could. Yeah. Go. Okay. Thank I'm you. Sorry. Hey, I appreciate it. Yeah, Thanks. No Thank you. Let me give you a statistic and I want your reaction. 80% of mass shootings happen with handguns. I thought it was always with um, the multiple rounds. Well, semi-automatic handguns can hold multiple rounds, but most mass shootings, 80 per, over 80% of them happen with handguns, not with rifles. So is it safe to say that you guys are both for gun control? That we're what? For, for gun control. For sensible gun laws, yes. Gun and gun no safety laws. No Large weapons. magazines, yeah. assault weapons, yeah. absolutely. So so assault weapons weapons ban, high magazine capacity ban. How how low should they go with the bullets that a magazine can hold? You're talking to somebody who's got some personal experience with gun deaths. And as far as I'm concerned, they can take all their guns. Have you ever fired an AR fifteen? No. Have you ever held one? No. 
what's the difference? What's your definition of an assault rifle? And I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I really want to know. Like a military style gun. Okay, what, explain what that is. Like a big one that fires like multiple rounds. Do you guys trust the government? What government? Uh, not the current administration, absolutely Any, any not. government, any government. I think what we've learned, what we've learned in the past, we've learned that we have to, we have to have a voice in it. We, we are, are the, government. the government. And if we don't have a voice, then we abdicate our, 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 our ability to trust or not trust. We have to. Well, they just quoted a statistic out there that 97% of the American people want background checks. If that's true, and we are the government, why don't we have background checks? Uh, that's an excellent question. I think we must not be in control. So if it's like a wood gun with a black barrel as opposed to an all-black gun that looks military style, you'd want to get rid of the, the black style gun? Mm, I'm, I'm more for like handguns and like um, the ones where you like hunt with, like for your family. Okay, yeah, most people don't. They, they, most people hunt with rifles, not handguns, just because of the accuracy and the yeah. distance. Like the the long ones, the shotguns or something. Okay. Yeah, most people hunt with rifles. What do you think criminals think about strict strict gun regulations? Of course, they don't like it. So if we make strict gun re regulations, we can exclude the criminals because they're not going to obey it anyway, right? That is true, but we will diminish, we will weaken that's it, that problem. Is it ever right to initiate unjust force or violence on peaceful people who have done no wrong? No. So when we create a law, let's say 99% of the people create a law for the 1%, that 99% wants that 1% to submit to their will through that law, right? That's true. And the way that law is enforced is by the law enforcement barrel of a gun. So isn't, in a sense, isn't that uh, an asking government to initiate gun violence against people who don't want to do what the other people want to do? That's how a country keeps control. That's a big part of the problem. Through guns? Absolutely. Oh, no, Through no, no, guns. No, no, no. I don't want to assume that my life as a civilian in America is a battle zone that I'm constantly prepared to defend myself against, against firearms with. That's stupid. I believe that it's never right to initiate unjust force or violence on someone who hasn't done anything wrong. Okay. And so I don't think it's fair for the millions and millions of gun owners who have harmed no one to have a broad brush background check or limit high capacity magazines or ban any kind of assault style rifle. What would be your reason for needing an assault style rifle at a high capacity? It's not about need. It's not about need. It's about I have a right as a human okay. being. For it's example, right for example, stupid. for example, if I own three cars and, and my neighbor goes, you don't need three cars, you only need one. What do you need right, three cars car for? Doesn't exist to kill people. Cars can kill people. That's yes. my point. And so can this cop. If I use and, the right and, way, and we and I could punch you to death. Mm -hmm. um, I could kick you in the balls right. until you hemorrhage. That, that's it. None in, of those in New York, they passed purposeful weapons. What could you do Listen. useful with a weapon? Daddy. All right. Okay. I Thanks. think I've made my point clear. Yeah, yeah, I just, uh, the, the point is, I don't think it's ever right to initiate unjust force. And what a law is, what a and law... I don't think that that right for you, even though it's on the books, is worth all of these kids getting killed in school. Right. If you really like to shoot targets, I'm sorry, you're the one who needs to change so that people don't keep getting killed in school. Hey, this is Brian from the Here's the Deal channel. Thank you for taking your time to watch this. If you want to see more of these man on the street videos, subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. Don't forget to leave a comment. If you want, subscribe to highimpactflicks.com. That's my free website, highimpactflicks.com. You'll be on the email list. If you want to support the channel further, grab one of these hard-hitting conversation starting shirts, become a channel member, but more importantly, understand that giving your rights away will never benefit you and will not benefit America. I will see you in the next video.